So I'm here with Gary Knott, and he's going to show us how to run the minimal modeling file on MLab. And the middle, what's called the minimal model is uh, a model for glucose and insulin interaction, which is commonly used uh, in studying a, an individual's response to uh, a bolus of glucose. So uh, to study the minimal model and uh, to see how it works, what we're going to do uh, is use the MLAB computer program. MLAB stands for Mathematical Modeling. And uh, we're going to run a, uh, an MLAB program, an MLAB script, which is called a do file, which contains the commands for fitting the model to data uh, and drawing a graph of the results. So in order to do that, we first have to look at the script uh, and the data that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, and we have to put those files uh, in the appropriate directory for MLAB to access them and, uh, and be able to do that calculation. So uh, I have those files in an email. And I'm going to show that email right now. And here it is. This is a particular email message um, uh, that I have here. And it has three attachments. It has a file called minmoda.do, minmodx.do, and minmod1.dat. Now, minmod1.dat is a data file, D-A-T for data. And we want to store that file in a directory called c colon backslash mlab. That is the mlab directory within the backslash directory, with, which is stored in the C drive of our computer. And directories are also called folders. And directories are often by some people called folders. Uh, OK, now in order to store this file, we can just use this download link. So we say click, download it, and we say save the file. That's a good idea. So we say OK. And we get this file selection window in Windows, which is quite a complicated thing. But it seems to have remembered from last time uh, where we want to put the file, in the MLAB directory, within the C drive, on our computer. Now, if I didn't have that, I could go over here in this left window and click on C drive and get a list of everything that's in the C drive. And you may very well have to do this on your computer because you certainly won't start with the MLAB directory showing. And then you scroll down and find the MLAB directory, which is in the top level directory on the C drive. And so we'll select it with a double click. And here it is. Here's the directory. Uh, uh, and uh, Windows only shows us a few of the files in that directory. It's trying to be helpful, but it's really confusing because there's a lot more files in that directory, and it doesn't show them to us. But we don't care. We found the directory, and we want to store the minmod1 file there. And so we say save. And in this case, it's already there. Do I want to replace it? Uh, yes, why not? But the point is that we have, if it wasn't th there, it wouldn't have asked that. It just would have saved it in our directory. So we have put our file in the directory by downloading, clicking on the download button, selecting and finding where we want to put the file, uh, and then just answering the question, uh, do you want to save it? Yes, and saving it. Let's do the same thing for one more of these files. Let's, let's do the same for midmod a.do. So we will say click. And do we want to save the file? Yes, we do. OK. And where do we want to save the file? Well, we already want to save it in the MLAB directory, which is showing there. Uh, and here are some things uh, that are like that, so-called do files. Those are MLAB scripts. And minmod a is already there, but if it weren't there, we would say save and save it again. So again, it says, do you want to replace it? Why not? It doesn't hurt anything. But now we've resaved it once more. And we could do the same for minmod x, but we're not going to. 
And when you have multiple files like this, you want to do them each individually, right? Absolutely. We never want to go over here and try to do them all at once. Uh, because we may want to scatter them in different places, and also we need to understand what's happening. So uh, manual is always better than automatic. 